Holy moly, you can now turn a diagram directly into a QuickBase app with the new Lucid Chart QuickBase partnership. It's amazing. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. At Empower 2021, QuickBase announced a partnership between themselves and LucidChart, a diagramming tool that many companies use for flowcharts and other types of diagrams. What wasn't quite clear in that announcement was exactly how does LucidChart work with QuickBase? Turning these ideas into reality as QuickBase states here on their website. Well, that, my friends, is what I'm going to show you now. I'll jump into my Lucid Chart account. Now, I want you to know this is a free account that I'm using with Lucid Charts. You can, of course, purchase a license to Lucid Chart, and you may already have one at your company. I'll click on New, and I want to choose Lucid Chart and a blank document. This gives us the canvas with which we can begin to diagram our app. The first thing you need to know is there's a very special type of shape that we will use in order to build out our diagram that will work seamlessly like magic with QuickBase. That shape type is within the entity relationship shapes. So if you don't see that on your menu here, which you're not likely to, we'll go ahead and click on shapes and then we're going to add the entity relationship shapes. I'll click use. Great. Now we've got our section down here on entity relationships. The particular shape type we want to use is this one here where you see the name at the top and you've got a left and a right side. This becomes our table. This top part becomes our table name. We're going to build out a CRM type app. So this will be our account table. I'll go ahead and pull in a few more of these just so we have them available. Along with accounts, we also are going to want opportunities and perhaps some contacts. So as you can see, we're starting to build out our tables that will belong to our CRM app. Now for each of these, you see we've got options to add fields and field types. The field portion here will simply replace with the name of the field. This would be our account name. And perhaps we want a field to indicate whether it's active or inactive. The next piece is identifying the type. Our account name will simply be a text field. And then for our active or inactive, we'll call that a checkbox. Now you can already begin to see some items are running off. If you're not familiar with using LucidChart, in order to expand the box, we'll go ahead and click on it to get these little square markers in the corner. And I can drag that out to give myself a little bit more room. Now these field types that I've entered here on the right hand side are very specific and based on a set of values that QuickBase understands. Sometimes it's very obvious like text for text or checkbox or checkbox or date for date. However, some fields it's not quite that obvious. There's a full list in the QuickBase help. Here's the help article here and the full list of types is listed here. If you're not sure what name to give to that type, you'll want to reference this document. Okay, let's head back to our diagram. Now let's say here I'm done with entering the fields I want to add for my account, but there's still one more row here. What do we do about that? We want to make sure to delete it because field and type simply doesn't mean anything. So as you see, when I clicked, I sort of selected that row. We've got a little blue box around it. If I right click, I can delete the row. Similarly, if I need to add another row, simply select an existing row, right click and click insert row above or below. And now we can add in more fields with their type, but I don't want that one. So I'll delete it again. So let me build out a couple of these tables and then we'll work on our relationships. 
All right, I've got these three tables built out. Now let's add our relationships. Accounts will have many opportunities, so I'll simply drag from this little circle here, see how that's uh, kind of turning red, down into this one. Going from my parent to my child, it'll automatically create that relationship. Now what this is telling me, this little bar, is that there's one record on this side, and then you get sort of this little crow's foot here at the bottom, that means there's many records on the other side. This is the default that Lucidchart will give you. You can change these end types here, but I would recommend not changing them because this is really the only type of relationship, one to many, that QuickBase builds. So using this default will ensure that you have seamless conversion from the Lucidchart into QuickBase. Similarly, our account can have many contacts. So I'll just grab one of these other little points here and over into the contacts. Things get a little bit more tricky for our opportunities, which can have many contacts. And contacts can belong to many opportunities. So I'll throw a little mini to mini join table in here called Opportunity Contacts. And really the only field I want here is a role. I want to know what role are they serving with regards to that opportunity. Now again, add my relationships between them. Let's add a few more tables just so we've got something nice and robust to import. Add in those relationships. So opportunities can have many activities and opportunities can have many documents. Looks good to me. Now you could use this to have discussions with your team about you know what you're building, what needs to be built, all during that ideation and design phase. And then once you know, you know what, this is it. This looks good. I've got everything I need in here. Now we can export it to QuickBase. We'll click on the little export button here. Very important piece. You want to click on this export within this entity relationship section. Don't be messing up around here in the menu for the export. This is the one you want to use. We click this button, we get this option for QuickBase. This gives us the JSON that we need. This is the code below that we will paste into QuickBase. Easy, I'll click copy to my clipboard and then head over to QuickBase. I'm now on the My Apps page of my QuickBase, I'll click Create a New App and you can see We've got the Lucid Chart option here at the bottom. It's currently in beta, so there are some changes, improvements being made. You may come across something a little unusual, but all we need to do is click Get Started. And in this big black box of nothingness, simply paste in that code that we copied to our clipboard. Now, if I head up to the top, I can actually read some of these things that are coming in within the JSON. This name here at the top, this is going to be the name of my app. Now I failed to actually give my diagram a name, so it's coming in as blank diagram along with some of my information. And I want that to actually read basic CRM. That's what name I'm going to give to the app. And now we can see a couple of the other things that are being created. We've got the tables and their fields with some temporary field IDs. We've got the accounts table with the account name and the active checkbox. We've got the contacts table with the first name, last name, email, and ooh, look here, I made a typo. I want that to not be a capital and simply be title. I can make those tweaks and edits here to some of the text. And there's a last check before I import. Heading down, we've got opportunities, the opportunity name and value, close date, et cetera, et cetera, hanging all the way to the bottom with our documents. And then it indicates the relationships, which tables are being related to which. That's what's happening in this bottom section. Once everything looks amazing, we'll click create app. And boom. I've got my basic CRM app 
we see all of our tables, account, contacts, opportunities, opportunity contacts, activities, and documents. If I click on my account table, let's go ahead and add a new account. We see we've already got all the fields on our forms per the sort of default way that QuickBase loads these in. Let's just add a my awesome account here. We'll make it active and let's add an opportunity. This opportunity, very cool opportunity, worth a cool million dollars. We'll close this on the end of the year and it's already related to our account. Look, all of this is already built just through Lucid Charts. I can add some contacts in here, put a little Jane Doe in here, and save. Awesome, everything is all connected just as I expected. Heading into this opportunity, let's add an opportunity contact, pull in Jane Doe, now my multiple choice fields don't have choices. So I will need to come in here and edit those choices along with some of the things you can already identify such as cleaning up these forms, maybe adjusting some of these form labels, etc. But the basic bones, what we put into Lucid Chart is all here. I can add my activities. Again, I need to add those choices in still, but I can pop in my amazing notes and I'm already using this app almost I mean besides the cleanup it's all here for me how cool is this pull in a file and we're good to go we've just used every single table that we created from Lucidchart turning this into what we see in the app diagram in QuickBase, practically usable as soon as we drop that code in, just a little bit of cleanup needed on those forms and some of those fields like multiple choice fields. There are a few other things that don't automatically come through, things like summary fields and lookup fields that are involved in the relationships. So if you wanted to say count the number of opportunities related to that particular count, you would have to create those summary fields. But the bulk of the work has been done. So no more diagramming and then building. You simply take that diagram directly into your QuickBase. How cool is that? If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.